So uh, the coronary arteries uh, deliver nutrients and oxygenated blood to the heart. If you have coronary artery disease in which one or more blood vessels of the heart feeding the heart are blocked, you may be able to manage your condition just with lifestyle changes or medicines. Sometimes a non-surgical procedure called coronary angioplasty, also called coronary stenting, is a choice for some people. However, if your disease is severe and is involved in many blood vessels, you may be facing coronary artery bypass surgery. Traditionally, coronary artery bypass surgery is performed with the assistant of the cardiopulmonary bypass. This machine, also called heart-lung machine, allows the heart to be stopped so that the surgeon can operate on a surface which is still and blood-free. The heart-lung machine um, maintains life despite the lack of a heartbeat. It removes uh, all the toxins and replaces them with oxygenated blood before pumping the blood back to the body, the patient's body. The heart-lung machine has historically saved many lives. Off-pump coronary bypass surgery differs from a traditional coronary artery bypass uh, graft operation because the heart-lung machine is not used. Rather than stopping the heart, technological ad advances and new kinds of operating equipment now allow the surgeon to hold stabilized portions of the heart during surgery. With a particular area of the heart stabilized, the surgeon can go ahead and bypass to the blocked artery in a highly controlled operative environment. Meanwhile, the rest of the heart keeps beating, keeps pumping the blood, therefore circulating the blood to the body. Off-pump coronary artery bypass surgery may be performed in certain patients with coronary artery disease. With the present technology, in theory, all arteries of the heart can be bypassed off-pump. The vast majority of the patients may be suitable for beating heart surgery. It is definitely ideal for certain patients who are at increased risk of complications from the bypass machine, such as those who have heavy aortic calcifications, pre-existing liver failure, or compromised pulmonary function or renal function. Not all the patients are good candidates though. The selection of patients who undergo off-pump surgery is made pre-surgery, so during the pre-surgical assessment, and then the final decision is made intraoperatively um, when the patient's heart and arteries are evaluated and assessed more closely. The aims of off-pump surgery is to decrease the mobility and the complications of the traditional uh, coronary artery bypass surgery. Complications like stroke, kidney failure, lung failure, and, and also the need for blood transfusion. Recently, a great interest is the possibility that off-pump surgery may reduce the risk of what, what are called uh, cognitive and mental changes, which have been seen in many patients who undergo CABG with a traditional cardiopulmonary bypass machine. Well, as this technique is in principle more challenging and more demanding for the surgeon because the heart keeps beating throughout, the main potential risk is graft failure. However, with the modern technologies and with increased surge, um, surgical experience, this risk is now extremely low. There are no many side effects, but there are great advantages. So a patient um, should be able to recover quickly after off-pump surgery. Compared with a traditional on-pump technique, the off-pump beating heart surgery, reducing the risk of complications, reducing the need for blood transfusion, and reducing the intensive care stay, and also reducing overall the hospital stay, this technique offers a quicker recovery to patients who have coronary surgery. So therefore, great benefits, less complications, less risks, quicker recovery.